side panel. It's got to come out. Put aside. Sink button. Pulls out. Now you want a flat head screwdriver. And wedge it into the side just here. Make a little gap. Pull the console round. And you're gonna get the cons you're gonna get the screwdriver into here and flip it open all the way along here, being careful not to scratch the top cover. Pull it up till you hear the click, turn it back round again. And carefully we've got to take the face plate off. Bearing in mind it's still attached to the RF board underneath with the cable so be careful not to rip the cable and what you want to do is get your finger into here and you're going to pull this out and pull up the blue cable as well pull the cable out <coughs> discard the cover This has got to come off. So we've got two screws here, Torx T8 security. Take these screws off the Wi-Fi board. And we can then pull this off. We want to unclip this here as well at the front on the RF board. Get a flathead screwdriver underneath and pull it off carefully. Torx T10 security screwdriver. I'm going to take these screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. Unclip this off here. Put this aside for now. Pull the cover up. Bearing in mind it's attached with a plug in connector down here, so unplug from the motherboard by pulling out like that. Then this can be discarded. Okay. Blu ray drive has got two plugs here, so we can just unplug those, pull the drive out, and put the console chassis aside. Pull off the plastic holder, go down to the drive. Four screws have got to come out. Small crosshead screwdriver. Pull off the cover. Three connectors have got to come out so flip up the black connector here pull that out flip up the white connector here pull that one out and then this one's got a little black connector here so pull up and pull that connector out three screws have got to come out here to get the board out small crosshead screwdriver one two three pull out the circuit board Three screws holding the laser in place. Pull out the laser and its assembly. There's the laser there and the connector. If you're buying from eBay or Amazon or wherever you source your laser from, don't just buy the laser unit on its own. You will very often see this laser advertised uh, on its own without this mechanism here. Uh, don't buy like that because it's very difficult to put on. So it's worth paying the extra pound or whatever it is, buy it with the actual turntable chassis as well, okay? 
replacement laser. Carefully slot back in. Three screws back into the laser. Put the board back in. Carefully does it. Make sure the board goes underneath this black clip here, otherwise it won't work properly. Put it into place. Put the connectors back in. Unclip the black clip. Carefully put it in and close the clip down. And the same with the other two cables. Three little screws back in. Cover back on. Four screws. plastic holder back on okay this is going to go back into the chassis so get the chassis back out two plugs into the board make sure this is properly in place these two parts of the plastic holder have got holes in the motherboard. Make sure they're in place, otherwise the console won't go back together properly. Okay. That feels like it's in place. Check the hard drive is in place. Cover's going back on, but make sure this connector goes into the board first. So put the connector in. Sit it back on top. Make sure that it feels like it's properly on top of all the uh, the peripherals inside the console. All the big black screws back in. Torx T10, screw them back down. Wi-Fi board back onto the connector and then the two Torx T8 screws back in. Put the connector back onto the front, clip it in carefully. Clip this little soundboard back in onto the front. Right, it's ready to put the top cover on with the faceplate. Now the faceplate is still attached to the front cover at the moment. Uh, we want to take this faceplate off here first before we put it back together. If you try and put this back on here right now, you're going to get into trouble, into all sorts of problems, getting it back into place properly. So we want to unclip this first of all. And the way to do it is by unclipping from this end first, clipping unclipping each of these until the faceplate comes off so pull it off can sometimes take a, a few efforts but there we go that's come off and off 
<clears throat> so we're going to put the face plate back into position first of all. So this connector here has got to go into this here. And then push in. That's it, that's now secure. <clears throat> this face place has got clips all the way along. Make sure it clips in to the corresponding positions on the bottom cover and it should fit in properly like that, okay? Top cover. Make sure it's slotted in at the back in the correct place. around to the front and then make sure that these slots here fit underneath the corresponding position on the top cover and if here it click into place properly <clears throat> put the sink connector back in on the side side grill back into place <clears throat> 